my life is not the same by far. Um, more, more importantly, my family um, life has changed drastically as a result of, of this role. But my wife and, and kids, they believe in the work. So they've been able to um, weather the storm, so to speak. Um, but the public scrutiny and the public accountability um, is the equivalent to being an elected official. When I initially took on a position, I underestimated the amount of um, public attention it would warrant. Um, I didn't necessarily know I was signing up for public office, but that's exactly what this role is. So I didn't prepare the family well. Um, so there was no sense of privacy. The first two years, everywhere I would go, there would be questions as it relates to poverty. And because of my lived experience and I come from the neighborhood, I'm very accessible. People know me as, you know, Brock from the neighborhood. They just, you know, I don't, you know, I don't come in from an outside um, community. I'm actually part of the very community that I'm trying to help improve. So because of that accessibility, um, there were, you know, a significant number of calls I would get on a daily basis because um, people would celebrate to say thank you. You know, you know, people were very emotional when I first was appointed. You know, literally there were cries and you know, Facebook, there was a flurry. I mean, so many people were sharing the, um, the information and it was really like a community win. People were celebrating um, back in my old neighborhood, like William Warfield, Joseph Clayton neighborhood. People were just, it was a real big hurrah. It was like a victory for the neighborhood. But what it also did was it created a false expectation because of the name poverty and people knowing I grew up in poverty that I understand the needs and the conditions that I can do a little bit more. They didn't realize I didn't have the agency, I didn't have the resources, I didn't have um, the ability nor the authority to change things overnight. So there were a significant number of people that were calling me for direct services. Um, I need help with rent, I need help with food, I need help with um, housing. So those things were very hard um, to, to navigate because I was still trying to figure out the system of supports that support people in poverty, trying to align those resources, but people were directly asking me um, and that was very difficult. So there was no privacy. And then at one point people assumed that I personally had resources and you know, when you work, um, when you live in communities and, and there's a sense of desperation because people are really struggling. Um, you know, my, my house was subject to some things. Um, there, there were a few things happening that I really had to make sure that the family were, um, was, was safe. And, and, and just, you know, I really wanted to, to create some distance between the work and my life. Um, and it's hard because the work is my life. And, and, and that was something that I learned to do uh, most recently. Um, I love the work. There's nothing about um, our MAPI um, as it relates to my own personal um, journey that, that I would change. I just wish I would have been a better prepared.